Hi there and welcome to this Power BI video. Today I would like to show you a use case regarding uh, the Concatenate X and I also would like to explain you why in real life uh, this, this function could be useful. Also maybe along the way explain you in, in the real life data what kind of things we can actually encounter which would actually lead to maybe using the Concatenate X. But first of all let's um, understand what we have as the data. I have brought a really small table to, to illustrate um, how we can actually benefit from the Concatenate x so uh, in in a visual on the on the canvas uh, is we have the package ID and the comments so we have uh, nine package IDs and for each and every package ID we have some comments and as we see here for the first seven packages we actually have only one comments and then we see for the the package 8 and 9 we have double entries in these package um, in these package IDs when we take a look at the data itself we see again the package IDs and we also see the comments now uh, we, we saw that for the first seven packages we had only one comment so let me select the package 8 and 9 so for the 9 and 8 we see that for the package 9 we have three entries let me actually um, do this as, as descending. So we see that we have uh, nine. Uh, we said we have three entries regarding the package nine, and we have two entries regarding the package eight. And what we want to do is we want to create a new column, which will show us all the comments uh, concatenated into each other, as we see in this case here. And why actually we need this this kind of step is that if we were to only have these seven packages where we would, we would only have one comments and even if you have you know double entries but they are the same then it would show up as one here but if we were to have double the uh, different two different comments on the same package id but the comments are also different then we would actually have a problem showcasing it in the report and in some cases you might actually need to showcase whatever is coming from the data directly and as I said, even though let's say this is a dimension table, in, in real life scenarios, it's actually rare that you get, a, let's say, a perfect uh, raw data and uh, let's say a clean data. Rather, you actually have something something to do to, to fix some of the problems. So the the, the code itself is, is I created a new column here, which I called the new comment. And in this comment, uh, the, the new comment column, I used var and return. And for, for var and return, first of all, I created one variable where I called it as package ID. And what I simply do is I save this package ID for each and every row here. So whenever it visits any row, let's say this one here, it will actually save this P9 value into this variable here, which I will use in the next one. And then I created a new variable, which is called result. And the, this result um, variable is nothing but the concatenate x function itself. The concatenate x is a function where it will iterate through all the rows um, depending on what you have filtered or, or what you have selected as a table and then it will bring all the data as an expression and then it will showcase it in one column. And as we see uh, what are the arguments inside concatenate x, you basically need three main arguments. The first one being the table itself, then you need the expression, what you want to bring, and the third one is the delimiter. If you see it in a, in a, a square brackets, it means that it's actually optional. And in this case, I've chosen the straight line to actually make, make it as a, as a separator in this case. So let's start with the table. The table is the, the DT package comments, but notice that I haven't used the, the package uh, comments table itself because it wouldn't work as I wanted to have. Because what I need to do is as I did it here, so let me actually go and maybe select only one of them. What I need to do is for each and every row, I would go, I would have to go and filter the table as I want to do. And the filter function is actually the function that was built for this and in the filter i i first um provided the, the table itself and then later i i have given a filter that i want to do on this table so i basically have said the package id in this table should be equal to do what is saved uh, in on that row itself so it will actually take p9 in this case and then it will filter as i did it here for p9 and then as an expression what i said was i just want the comments and then the separator is the straight line, as I said. And notice that uh, afterwards it actually brought all the comments as I wanted to see. And if I were to select the P8 as well, it's now also showing it arrived at and float package in this case as well. Now, if you go back to this visual and, and bring the, the new comment, 
instead of the, the old one then you will see all the package IDs only showing up once and then for each and every package ID you will showcase the comments concatenated into each other. As I said, in some of the cases, you actually need this, these sort of um, functions to, to bring from, let's say, a, a big table. I only showcased um, only a couple of rows here, but you might have uh, millions of rows where you would actually need to do, the, do these kind of operations. And in this case, it will work just the, the way to do it. And in some of the cases, it, it hasn't um, been a problem in this one. In some of the cases, you would actually run into a problem where it would understand the whole row context as a filter. And it will say that this float package is indeed the filter so it will show only two float packages and not returned here and in those cases what you would need to do is you would need to add the all function at the beginning of the dt package comments because you would need to to filter or remove all the filters in the table and then apply the filter that you want to see which you can see in this case as well now we will actually see the same result in this case but it will it would definitely make a difference if you were to run into this problem as well and i would say this is the the end of the video and um, thanks for watching